Virginia. Wow. Virginia. Wow. Yeah, right. They've been in the news a little bit this yeah. last Check week. Some of the foliage up there. <laughs> yeah. Bob, how you doing? I presume you're listening on the Internet. I'm not listening. I'm just calling in on the phone because I wasn't able to figure out how to listen yet, but we'll work on that. Oh, how, well, how, let me, let me, I'm always curious as to how people find us. So you're up there in Virginia. How did you f- know that we're here? Straight up answer was a friend of mine, Danielle Dolan. I had reached out to her with a question about retirement. She directed me to your podcast. There you go. All right. Well, thank you Fantastic. for, thank you for calling in. How can we help you? I'm wondering about contributing to a Roth IRA as well as a traditional personal IRA or a company-sponsored IRA. I'm over 50, so I've been doing 7000 the past few years on my Roth. And then I started reading. Suddenly, I was scared that the contributing to the both of them got me over a limit. I was under the impression I could do seven in the Roth and almost whatever I could afford in the other thing, like 12 or 15K a year. But In your 401K? I was about the total. In your 401k, excuse me. In your, you're talking about. Yes, in your, yes you can do that. Yeah, the limit, the limitation comes in if you're doing a deductible IRA. But yours isn't deductible. Roth IRA, as you know, is not deductible. So you can put that money. You can max out your uh, 401k and then also put money into the Roth. But isn't there an income? Okay. Doesn't he? Have but there's a, there's, a, there's an income a, income yeah, yeah, yeah. limitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've got you know if you're you're married. Yes. Okay, so the income limitations are if you're over $208,000, you can't put into a Roth. Okay, I don't have that problem. Okay, well, that's yeah, a good problem. So, now, let me, let me ask you something. So you've been, are you been maxing out the Roth, so you're not taking the tax deduct- deductible pieces in your 401k, or are you, are you using the deductible part side on the 401k? In my 401ks, I've been doing pretty much up to what the company will match up to because I wasn't thrilled with the results and the plan options. Right. And then on my on the side, I was doing a Roth 7,000 the last few years okay. as well. I got you. So you're doing the, the deductible on the 401k, and then you're doing the non-deductible Roth on the side. Correct. I got you. Okay. Um, depending on your tax brackets, you may want to use a, or take a look at a article that I wrote several years ago for Kiplinger about Roth IRAs. It's called Roth, a wolf in sheep's clothing, Roth, a wolf in sheep's clothing. And it'll show you the, maybe the cons that you might not have considered about maxing out on a Roth. We let's talk about why, why we may not recommend everybody max out a Roth. Well, I, um, as I think we, talk around here about when Congress is in session, your, your money's in jeopardy. I have, I have in the last few months, Bob, uh, read several articles that on the table is, um, you know, is some, some, some talk about taxing Roths. Um, there's some changes that may be coming down the pike. Uh, we tend to, to like the bird in the hand and get as much, uh, deduction or as much money put aside uh, today versus what might happen in the future. And the Roth is certainly uh, an area where there's a lot of money available there for taxes should the, should the rules change. And I think Joe's article uh, outlines uh, very well what, what may be in store in the future. We don't know that. I know they're also talking about, a lot of t- folks talk about Roth conversions, converting in, in, an IRA or a 401k into a, to a Roth. So that, that's on the table as well, that that, this, this, that may go away as well. So Yeah, as you see, you know, they're trying to do this Build Back Better bill, and they're looking for, for uh, revenue anywhere they can get it. Mm-hmm. And um, so who knows what's, what's down the pike. The bottom line is, is you don't want to necessarily give up a sure tax deduction today, which is a tax deductible on pre-tax in your 401k or an IRA for a promise of tax-free income in the future, which may or may not be there. So, but if you're in the 10 or 12% tax bracket, it's no big deal. But if you're above that in the 22% tax bracket, you may want to give it second thoughts. Take a look at that article, and that should help you. And listen, you can find us easily. All you have to do is go to WDBO.com, and you can catch our show, or you can go to Facebook. Mm. dot com and uh p- pull up uh, on the money fl and uh, by the way we've got a special guest between harry and me we do. sitting in the studio this morning so you can see who's here if you do that as well so we appreciate the call up there in virginia stay warm and uh go virginia okay thank you so much you're Have quite welcome appreciate your call